pillow scorpion. All right, before I started the reading, I heard, is that kosher? I had no idea you were religious. Okay. All right, so apparently you are religious. So is that kosher? All right, I don't know what that means, but this is what spirit wants you to know. Is that kosher? your energy. Is that kosher? So I'm getting something about dead animals, uh, the slaughtering of dead animals or eating dead animals. All right. Okay. Is that kosher? I feel like somebody's asking you, is that kosher? Or I thought you were Jewish or I thought you were Christian. The Bible says this, the Bible says that. So I feel like somebody is challenging your beliefs or your religion, the Five of Swords. Oh, this is you. You're challenging somebody's religion or their beliefs. I feel like somebody is not religious, though. We have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so somebody is, like, stuck on something. Or someone's trying to box you in or control you. Or somebody wants you to feel stuck. You're not stuck. All right, so the eight of swords, you have the eighth house. All right. So if you are, if you are, well, unless you're Jewish, if you are a Christian, you should not be watching this reading. I believe Catholics do not believe in astrology either or something. Anywho, let's get off the religious shit. All right, let's see. Scorpio, is that, is that kosher? <clears throat> so I'm, I'm assuming that you're celibate. Okay, so you have the title card. Yeah, so, okay, this is, so I'm hearing, I'm hearing the label. I'm hearing the label. So I'm hearing record label. All right, do you work for a record label? Or are you trying to get a job at a record label? Or maybe you're trying to get them to listen to you or put something on the radio. I'm hearing record labels, so either you work for one or you're trying to. The Queen of Swords? All right, in other news, I'm getting a contract. So this is, so this is good, this is a good thing. The Nine of Swords, okay, so uh, something that you're nervous about. So someone's tormenting you. I feel like somebody's using the Bible as a means to torment you, like Bible verses. Like, yeah, so is that kosher? Or the Bible says this. So if you are religious, I feel like somebody's like using your religious sect or, or some type of religious, religious doctrine to punish you. Like, well, in the Bible it says you shouldn't be doing this and blah, blah, blah. So I feel like, okay, so someone's trying to... So I feel like if you have ever called yourself a Christian or a Jew, which Jew just means celebrity, which I've said a hundred times, it's not a religion. Jew means celebrate, literally. You can look that up on any computer if you want. But I feel like if you have ever called yourself a Christian or a Catholic, somebody's like, well, I thought you was Christian. I thought you was Catholic. I thought you was whatever the fuck. So someone's going to someone's gonna use like Bible verses or whatever you follow or whatever you followed before against you if you were Muslim or anything like that someone's using it against you or they're using it to torment you or punish you the hermit car so are you so yeah are you are you Jewish or are you a celebrity because that's what Jew means it means celebrity I don't know what the fuck y'all be listening to but so maybe somebody's offended by that or maybe you're a Hebrew I don't know what type what, which religion is that Hebrew Israelite or whatever. So you could be talking to a Hebrew Israelite and they're trying to like use Bible verses or somebody's looking something up in your religion. Okay, you're a Hebrew, you're a Jew, you're a Catholic, you're a Muslim. Okay, what can I find in their, in their religion to, to torment them with? So somebody is like really, uh, yeah, page of swords. Somebody's literally looking into something religious just to torment you or to make you feel bad. Or, so, all right, so this is going to be kind of a goofy reading. All right, so... Let's just start with the superficial stuff first. I feel like you're, you're signing a contract here. 
I'm getting several lines that you are reading or several things that you have to fill out. This is a new opportunity. Okay, I feel like I feel like something is like something is based in like religion or something is like based in some type of doctrine or, or belief. So somebody is talking to you, the six of swords. Yeah, you're being you're being led away from this. I feel like you're you, you don't believe this anymore, or you, you stop believing this, or this is not what you follow anymore, or the universe or spiritual guides are leading you away from something. I feel like you're meant to just go with the flow. You're not meant to be religious. or So I feel like somebody is tormenting you because you don't follow a certain religion. Because I feel like you're trying to get a job, but I feel like the people that work for this company, this organization, or this conglomerate, they are Christian, Catholic, or Jewish. So basically celebrities, the whole Jewish thing, um, or they're Hebrew. So I feel like you can't you can't get the job here unless you follow like you have to be under a certain religion or sect. But I'm getting like you do everything that the religion says that you're supposed to do. You just don't call yourself that. Like maybe you eat right, you eat kosher, or you take care of yourself. You don't have sex, you're celibate. You pray. I feel like you do all those things. But the people in the actual religion they don't do that shit. But they want you to do it. But they're not doing it. I feel like you actually live by these live by these laws without calling yourself these epithets. The people who are actually calling themselves these epithets, they don't follow the laws, so they torment you. Is that kosher? So I feel like somebody is Jewish, okay? And you're calling yourself a Jew or a Hebrew and they don't like that. I feel like too, somebody is a, I don't know, I, this, this is weird for you. Um, but I mean, the North one is in Taurus. Taurus rules like, uh, you know, tradition, not religion. That would be Sagittarius. But Taurus rules tradition. So I'm not really sure how these two things are lining up with each other. We have a nine of Vanjie. Okay, so I'm getting it is a Sagittarius. They're very religious. Yeah, so they have like, okay, let's see, let's see where this is going. So somebody's afraid that you're going to get an opportunity, even though you're not you don't, um, what's the word? You don't identify with the religion, but you're, so somebody, I feel like somebody's mad because, okay, they signed the dotted line and you don't have to, they're like, that's not fair, I have to follow this, and they don't, so they, they torment you because you don't need a book to tell you not to kill or not to steal or not to have sex out of marriage or out of wedlock. You don't need a book to, to to, you don't need to be ordered by a book or by a set, you just do the right thing anyway. So I feel like somebody is like tormenting you because, I don't know, they was the Nine of Swords. Yeah, somebody's mad or like somebody is, yeah, somebody is uh, tormenting you because you you're, you don't like identify with the epithets or something like that. What's the Nine of Swords? Or like somebody's making you feel guilty about something that you're doing. They're like, but that's not kosher or that's not Christian. People really. All right. Okay. What's the nine of swords? Yeah, the eight of pentacles. Yeah. So somebody's afraid that you're going to get this job anyway. I feel like, I feel like you're going to get the job anyways without having to follow all of that. Um, like somebody. Is nervous, yeah. The emperor card, like you already got the job. It could be an, an Aries. So I feel like somebody screwed up. Yeah, the oper there's a lot of opportunity here. Like you're getting another opportunity, so I'm getting two separate streams of income. So I feel like somebody is breaking the breaking the law. I believe it was Moses that broke the law. He threw the Ten Commandments up against the mountain, literally breaking the laws. So I feel like somebody, I feel like you're breaking the laws. That's what Moses did. He he broke the law. He threw, he threw the Ten Commandments up against the, the, I don't know, the rocks or whatever, and they broke. So I feel like you're doing that, and something's mad. So I feel like you're breaking all the rules. But some, I mean, you're, you're getting away with it because here's another opportunity, like, kind of like 
light in the background that's coming in. I feel like too, something requires that you break the law. All right, I'm confused. All right, this is your energy though, confusion. Because the Nine of Swords in this depiction, she, she's not embarrassed or ashamed. Yes, yeah, so I feel like you're not, there's no shame in what you're doing or you, you're not humiliated or you don't feel embarrassed about anything. You just, you don't feel any type, type of ways about it. So maybe somebody's, something is supposed to be scary, but it's not scary to you. You're like, what's so scary about it? So that's why you're getting the job because, yeah, I feel like you are looking into something more like deeply and you're discovering that, okay, well, well what's so frightening about that? It's not really that scary or something like that. But I feel like somebody else is afraid. Like they're afraid to go against the grain or they're afraid to break the rules or they're afraid to question or something like that. What's the Eight of Pentacles? The Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. All right, what's, what's the title card? Yeah, I feel like you just you just do the right thing, like naturally. Nine of Swords again. Somebody's really afraid here. Like somebody's nervous. I feel like somebody's afraid of going to hell, or like or somebody wants you to be afraid of going to hell. But you're like, yeah, I know. I know what hell is. I know where hell is. I've been there and back. I, I'm a Scorpio. I'm not afraid to go to hell. Or I'm not afraid to die. I feel like somebody wants you to be afraid, but that's not going to work for you. I just feel like you're, you have a very special connection with death and sudden events and transformation. And somebody's really afraid. I, I don't know. Or somebody wants you to really be afraid of something or, or of dying or going to hell, persecution. Or what's the, what's the hermit? Well, this is you. Maybe you are guilt, guilt tripping someone, or you're trying to make somebody feel guilty, or you're tormenting someone over and over again. Like somebody really, really trying to instill some type of fear, or maybe somebody wants you to fear God. Okay, I guess that makes sense, but why? Why not just love God? Why do you have to be afraid of God? What is, so maybe you're asking that question, why do I have to be afraid of God? Or why, do, why can't I just love God and get along with God? Or What is the hermit? I feel like you're asking too many questions and it makes people don't like that. What's the hermit card? That, yeah, you ask, you're like discovering the truth or you're asking lots of questions before you just, I feel like somebody is afraid because you don't just follow something. You keep asking and Maybe they don't have the answers or something. I feel like too, in other news, I feel like you're facing your fears when it comes to a contract. You could have Saturn and Libra or Libra North Node. So contractual agreements are a part of your destiny. It's a part of your North Node here in this incarnation. Maybe you are afraid to go under oath or you're afraid to sign a contract. You just don't want to sign your name. You're afraid of that. You don't want to be bound by anything or you don't want to be, you don't want to lose your freedom at all, you're scared of that, you're, you're afraid to, to be completely devoted to something that scares you. Yeah, because I'm being like, you, you, yeah, Scorpio rules change, so maybe you, you may change your mind and you're stuck. Yeah, I feel like you're afraid, you don't want to, you don't want to enslave yourself. Ten of Pentacles, so I'm getting, I'm getting like family values or like people, they really want you to be a part of this, but you're like, no, I'm, I don't want to do that. I don't want to sign no contract or, yeah, something's going to shift. I, I was trying to get to the, like, the, the point here, the punchline. Like I said, I, I feel like something requires that you break the law. Yeah, do what you will, the, the magician, or you are in control of your own destiny. Okay, Ace of Swords. I feel like too, like maybe it's, okay. I feel like too, somebody's afraid that you're just too honest, you don't know how to lie, you're a bad liar or something. But I feel like you're not though. You're, you can, 
You can lie with the best of them. <laughs> no pun intended. All right, what is, what is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, so that's, okay, that's, okay, it's making sense when you have the Six of Pentacles. You're going to get this. I feel like, too, somebody's afraid to put money in your hand. I don't know, somebody's scared, somebody's apart, somebody's fearful. Yeah, I feel like somebody's afraid. Maybe somebody feels like you're a psychopath or like what is it that you fear? Like, are you afraid of anything? Like, I feel like somebody's trying to figure out what scares you. But why? <laughs> I don't know why that's important. I guess, it's, it's, yeah, somebody wants to know what your fears are or what, what frightens you. If you're not afraid of death, then I feel like somebody feels stuck because, you know, most, even the strongest men are afraid to die. But you're a Scorpio, so that's like something that you govern. So maybe somebody's, I feel like somebody just, maybe somebody's afraid of you. Somebody's afraid because somebody's afraid of what you're not afraid of. This could be you though. Know, all right, what is the Page of Swords? I feel like to this could be humiliation. Somebody wants to humiliate you or... You know, maybe they feel like they're afraid of that. Like, what's the case? Two of Cups. Yeah, so this is, all right, so this is confusion, your energy. So maybe, I feel like you're the one doing this. Um, you actually love someone, or you're watching to see how much people love this person, or you're, something like that. Seven of Cups, your energy, you know, confusion, justice. All right, there's some confusion going on. There's going to be justice here. I'm not really sure what's going on. I just feel like somebody wants you to be afraid or humiliated. I feel like that's a part of it, or that's a part of being a part of whatever this is. You have to be humiliated publicly, or you have to be afraid of something. Or you have to fear of God. So, yeah, I just feel like it's racism though, it's kind of what I'm getting. I just feel like it's, it's, it's racism masqueraded as something else, as like religion, but it's really just race, racism or like mean, meanness, nastiness. Like somebody's using religion to torment you and to treat you mean, and like, oh, this is a part, this is a part of the initiation. No, it's just, you're just racist, or you're just being mean, or this is, this is happening to you, you're going to get justice for that. I don't really understand your reading, it's very confusing, but there's a new opportunity here. There's several of them. I saw two, there's another ace, ace here. You have be you, yeah. So I don't, there's, you're not, there's something that you're doing is like harmless. This is a harmless reading, but. It's, it's made to be scary and bad and nine of swords, nine of swords, but nine of swords is just facing your fears. Uh, do that. Um, but I feel like somebody is uh, either trying to humiliate you or they're trying to figure out what, what you are afraid of. All right, be open-minded yet. Yeah, try to be open-minded. Maybe that's what, maybe they fear, they fear the fact that you're open-minded or you may discover something you're not supposed to know. I don't know. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.